Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed Heat. It's episode number seven today, and as of today, recording, it is the launch of Need for Speed Heat, so we can finally start recording again. Oh, we got a cinematic camera. Um, so one thing we've got uh, unlocked now is the KS edition cars. So this is the KS edition of the BMW i8 Coupe. We also have um. The KS edition of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, which is for pre-orders only. And if you pre-order on Xbox, you'll get this car as well. Um, if you pre-ordered on PlayStation, you actually got a blue version, I think. Um, which is really cool, actually, because they're um, limited to the console as well as uh, the other thing. Um, we've also got this one, which unlocks at level 14. We had the i8 which unlocked at level 10 and we've got this one which I'm looking forward to that unlocks at level 18. Um, that one's going to be nice uh, to turn into a drift car, definitely. Um, but what we are going to do, we said we weren't going to go for the KS cars because not everyone will get the KS cars. So it's not really fair to sort of jump up and sort of skip that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the daytime. We need to earn some money because apparently we lost it all. In the last episode. I mean we did get caught by the cops. Quite dramatically. Um, but yeah. Hopefully we can get some. Pretty good laps. Uh, I'm doing a live stream today. On the day of the launch. It's going to be a launch live stream. So that's going to be really fun to do. Uh, let's see what races we got. We got one over here. Let's go here. One thing I like is there are loads of races to do, um, and that it's not just all restricted to the story missions, because the stories, they were all too focused on the story, and it it wasn't that fun. Um, honestly though, playing this, it makes Payback feel like worthless, like Payback just didn't exist, it, no one likes it anymore. And Payback, when it came out, I thought was a really good game. I want to actually see something fun. Because I know these guys, they don't follow you. Okay, they follow you. Okay. Nice. Haha. <laughs> They definitely chase you if you crash into them. Come on, come on, come on. We can't get caught by the cops. We're getting away slowly. <laughs> and we now have a heat level during the day. That is pretty cool. We managed to get away from the cops in a daytime chase. And we have a heat level. That is cool. So they haven't just restricted cops to only night. It's just the cops don't really want to get involved during the day. That's really cool. I like that. Speed hunters. Target, finish first. Let's go. Banjo, get out of my way.
Um, I don't know whether they updated the game, but it seems to be a little bit more difficult to actually catch up now. I don't know whether it's because I've been playing uh, Need for Speed Payback a lot, um, because I was doing that uh, like the two days before the game came out, uh, live streaming it to try and finish it before the release, um, which we did. We did last night, and that was one of the best streams I've ever had, so anyone who did come to that Need for Speed Payback live stream, you guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely crazy how different this game feels. Like, this is totally, like, a thousand times more fun than Payback was. All throughout the live streams of Payback, I just wanted to stop, but I was like, nah, because I want to get this finished beforehand. I'm going to do it when the next Need for Speed comes out. I'm going to play Heat, um, play through it for the whole month before the next one comes out. Simple as. I mean, I'm saying that before I've even finished this game, so... May not happen because it being a very long game, you never know. But Payback was just such a short game. I've done it in five live streams. Easy. No problem. That was like eight hours of playtime. Ridiculous. Um, but this one, so far, we've gotten so much more uh, playtime out of it. Oh, we are in first. I was like, what? There's cars in front of me and we've only got 500 yards left? Excuse me. But yeah, that should be good. Finish first. Right, what is our next race? Uh, I think today we're just doing daytime events. Oh, we finally got rivals. Uh, NFS Ghost Bronze, whoever you are. I'm not taking down your target. <laughs> not today. Um, but yeah. Oh, if you guys do want to join the crew, um, it is the Mech Tech crew. Uh, tag is Mech. Um, make sure to join that because I want to see some of you guys, see what cars you guys make in Need Speed Heat. Uh, anyone who do, does join will show off their cars in videos. It'd be amazing. Um, but right now we need actual members first. And our heat rating's gone as well. Start. I kind of don't like that the car doesn't repair itself, but then again, um, it is sort of a walkthrough thing. Right, sorry about that. I had to go sort something out. Uh, right, we got three laps. Uh, it doesn't look too long of a break. There's a jump. There's a jump. Way! <laughs> hey, I love jumps. Jumps are the coolest thing in the game. Well, I'm looking forward to off-road racing because apparently off-road racing is a thing in this game. Um. I don't know whether I'm dragging the videos out a little bit longer than they should be, but I know other YouTubers, I've sort of taken a look at their videos, and they get into, like, off-road racing, like, episode 8. So hopefully it's not too long, but I have a feeling I am going a little bit slower than others. But I, I honestly don't care, mainly because the next game that comes out is Cyberpunk, because Watch Dogs has been delayed again, I think. So it's Cyberpunk 
next. Unless they remove the delay, because they said they were going to delay it. But Cyberpunk is in April the 20th, so yeah, that's basically the next big game. Come on, come on. Winner! I actually thought that was another lap then. One thing I really want to see is um, sort of custom length laps. So we could do like a 50 lap race and get 600,000 out of it, for example. So we sort of increase the rewards as laps go up. And we can make our own like custom amount of laps. Because that would be good. That would be useful. Um, oh, we got some more races up here. That one is 200, 200, 160 down here. Uh, let's go on a little road trip today. So, um, what's been going on? Not much, really. Um, we had a live stream yesterday where we streamed through Payback and... Completed that. We had a load of different people come in. We had uh, people like Sergio come in. Uh, Gunjamin came in. Said hi. Johnny came in and said hi at one point as well. So that was amazing. Honestly, one of the best live streams I've ever had in a long time. Right, so we're here at the Streamliner race. We are going to get ourselves 24,000 out of this race if we win. These cutscenes, though, with all the light bars, looks absolutely stunning. I love the uh, design aspect that they've done for this game this time. They've definitely put more effort into it. Let's go. Goodbye, Roadkill. I missed a checkpoint. How did I do that? <laughs> right, looks like it's a catch up game now. Let's go, overtake.
the thing I like as well um, is the fact that there's no factions to take down, no groups. You just enjoy it. Oh, there's a radio station there. You just enjoy the game. You race for money and for fun. You're not trying to take all these people down and struggling to come first. If you come second, it doesn't mean that's the end of the game. Like, you can't continue until you get first. You can still continue. And that's a good thing about this. Like, that first mission, we wouldn't be able to continue that first race if we didn't come first in that. If it was, like, payback. And they've made such a huge improvement, it's unreal. Right, this time... Don't cut the corner. There we go. Uh, we are on the right camera angle. Whoa! drift turn there. Wow, this is definitely a long race. Hundred and sixty three miles an hour. Nice. Lots of speed. Oh, a hundred and seventy mile an hour drift then. That was insane. How fast can we get? 162, I think I counted. Twenty-four grand. That's a good paycheck. Right, we got another event up here. Let's go take a look at this one. Oh, we got quite a long way to go for this one. See, the map is big enough to feel like a big map, but it's not so big that you're going to get lost or take forever going from one side to the other. It's just right. Like, Forza is just right, but in its own way. Like, 
you want those drift roads. I mean, Forza doesn't goes along the realistic side rather than the drift road side, making a very good map. They make a very detailed map. Um, but sometimes the roads aren't the best. Like in the cities, terrible. Edinburgh City for Forza Horizon 4 is just terrible. Um, the North Road, the road that's at the very north of the Forza Horizon 4 map, best road ever. Um, absolutely stunning. But the rest of them just aren't that good. Oh, 26,000. This is going to be an even longer race. Recommended level 200 and we're 204. I'm up for the challenge. You can hear that turbo whistle. Brew! Obviously, I want to see every five episodes we get a new car. I want to see if we can get a new car for episode 10 or maybe 9. But um, definitely after a few episodes, I want to upgrade the car. Because there's no point sticking with the same car. Um, because the whole point of the game is to sort of like try out different cars, see them upgraded. This is a very long race though. This race is going to take us at least five minutes. That's good, though. I like longer races. I like longer races. I hate shorter ones. Simple as. Drifting. I love drifting in this game. It's just so much fun. Like, you can pull a sick drift. Um, in Need for Speed 2015, it was easier to pull a drift than Payback. But Payback, you could sort of pull a drift at higher speeds. 2015, you could pull the longest drift ever. Like... I have a game clip somewhere of me pulling the sickest drift in the world. It was amazing. Um, I probably won't be able to find it now. But it is just amazing. And obviously the buying the new video editor as well, upgrading that up for this series. I literally bought a proper video editor um, to make sure that this series looked as good as possible because I know that this game can be shown off amazingly as long as you have a high enough quality editor so if before I could only do 720p and that just didn't cut it I sort of rendered the first little bit of a video because I normally do a little test just to make sure everything works <coughs> um, and that test just looked kind of off so I went and got a different editor um, and got myself the 1080p. Obviously I'm still getting used to it so it's taken me a couple of videos to get it spot on. So now I've worked out how to get it as high quality as possible. Um, so I know episode 1, 2 and 4 sort of looked a bit off. Um, but that's because for some reason I put the megabits down to 1. Thinking that that would help speed it up. It didn't speed it up at all. It just made it really low quality.
final lap. I want to see a really long final race. That's going would be amazing to see is a super long final race. Um, just because it means that we can sort of enjoy the game. Um, obviously, a longer final race means that we've got like a big race to look up to uh, and look forward to. Like Forza, the Goliath, is sort of like the big ending race. You play that, that's it. But you're looking forward to playing that um, event. Did I get the checkpoint? Yes, I did. And that's what I want to see more with this game. I want to see a really long race. Like the Outlaws Rush in the last one. Outlaws Rush was a great race. That was the only event I enjoyed. Was the Outlaws Rush. Um, when I played through the live stream yesterday. Whoa, watch it, mate. Yes. Finish first. Got it. 26,000 as well. So we've got ourselves 60 odd thousand already so far. Uh, what time is it? Ooh. We could get one more event in. Uh, let's head towards this one. We'll do this event. In fact, we might even be able to get two more events in. Ah, what way are you going? Where on earth does this road... Oh, it's a dirt road. This car wasn't designed to go on dirt, so... Yeah, bear with me on this one. Gosh, the camera is shaking like mad. That car was definitely out of its comfort zone. Look how nice it looks, though. The shiny design. Whoever made this, honestly, knows what they're doing. Because that looks amazing. I keep crashing. And my car's probably going to wreck out in a minute. I'll probably be in the back of that ambulance. Whoa, where do you come from? Yeah, get out my way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Take on Oscar. Uh, I actually, I need to check what level we need to be for these. Requires rep level 11. Require oh, okay. So I'm guessing they were just based like that so they can lock it out of the demo. Lock those levels out of the demo. That makes sense. So it looks like it's going to be the next episode where we can unlock that. Because we're not actually doing any rep building. Oh, my back. Farrah. Circuit race.
I think as well, when your car gets damaged, you sort of get a performance drop. Um, because so far, I've definitely felt a bit of a performance drop, um, in the past when the health gets low. I don't get how we literally just took out a full-on trailer then. A full-on trailer we took out with the car. I like as well the option turning it from uh, brake to drift and gas to drift um, because honestly I don't care both of them are pretty much the same anyways gas and brake um, it's just one you can use just the gas or you can use um, both gas and brake if that makes any sense They are sticking to me at the back. Let's go, Nos, Nos, Nos. And it's Brucey. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the dub. Let's get the dub. That is a good corner there. And across the line. Right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, oh, this car looks like a mess. Wait, what was that in daily activities? Win one star on an at a a bleh, 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 on an activity. That looks good. Uh, let's do this quickly so we can get our daily rewards. Uh, and then we'll finish the episode. Let's go, let's go. We can't go this way, so we need to turn around. Oof! Right, let's spin on the spot and take it up this jump. I think this will be the first activity we've at intentionally done. Whoa! Gosh, we need an even more speed. 
I didn't think we'd need that much. Apparently we do. Uh, let's go even further back. See if we can get to 160... One, I think maybe 140 should do it. Alright, spin around. Let's go. Let's get it this time. No, 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 no. Yes. I have to go out and walk. It's not healthy. Feel the sand between your toes. We've met, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dumb idea. Dumb idea. Right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. Uh, I mean the world to me. Join the Mech Tech crew, tag Mech, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.